And welcome back, Orange County Eye Institute. And Dr. George Salib is here today, who's the owner of that. And you've um, brought along with you some photos of some equipment that you use in your office, which I, I think is going to be very fascinating. Before we start, I want to give a little reminder here that uh, Dr. Salib is going to speak at the Kiwanis Club today. And that takes place at Clubhouse 2 at 11.45. So if you want to go to that, uh, they do you know, a luncheon every week. You're going to be there, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm, going to, I'm trying to look. To, oh, here it is right here. This is the actual. It is um, the lunch is $8 for members and $9 for guests, because I might not get to this announcement later. You can call the Kiwanis Club at 830-9120. So uh, you are one of the, the get monthly guests. They have guests every month, and uh, you're going to be there this, uh, this, uh, this lunchtime. Yes. Great. Looking forward to it. All right. So in uh, your office, you have, uh, as you were saying right before we got in, you have some new equipment that you wanted to talk about. And I, I was going through these photos, and they, they, very, they look kind of space age. And, <laughs> I mean, even the design of them. So tell us about all these. Yes, Let's look sure. at the first one here. Yes, I, I'm very uh, happy to be um, talking about this equipment. This equipment is really some of the most advanced uh, uh, diagnostic equipment available in ophthalmology today. And it just kind of uh, shows our commitment to having the, the best uh, diagnostic and measurement type equipment available for our patients to do the best types of surgery and uh, diagnostic testing. So this is what we call a corneal topographer, and it's actually also a corneal tomographer. This is called mm -hmm. the Galilei G4, and it's the most advanced type of equipment of its kind, and it's meant to measure the uh, front and back surface of the cornea of the eye. The cornea is the clear surface on uh, on the front of our eye where we would, for instance, put a contact lens. Okay. So that cornea is a very important piece of our eye because it's yeah. the window to our okay. eye. And this machine actually combines two different technologies to make a very accurate assessment of the shape of the cornea. So it's like a, a topographic map of mm -hmm. the earth, for instance. It gives you the, the mountains and the valleys of the cornea, of course, in very micrometer resolution. And this is important for, for instance, if we want to do cataract surgery, we can get accurate measurements of the curvature of the eye, which is one of the main components of determining which lens goes in your eye. And it also determines if you have any eye diseases of the front of the eye. Would this be part of, at least after a certain age, a normal eye exam? Or do you do initial eye exams and they say, you know, we need to take this a step further with this device here? This is usually something we would do for uh, if we detect something, uh, a, an issue with your mm -hmm. eye, for instance, if we look at your eye and you have dry eyes, or if okay. you have an abnormal curvature of your eye, we'll say, well, we should do a corneal topography. But we also do it as the normal preoperative workup, for instance, for a cataract surgery okay. uh, in order to determine what is your best uh, possible vision to see if there's anything that would be a detriment to your vision after cataract surgery. Okay, so this is a fairly new device. And I would imagine it just gives you a much clearer picture of what's going on with the, uh, the cornea. Where you got, when, when the surgery comes in, it ju it's just that much more precise. Exactly. I've even had one uh, world famous uh, surgeon from LA send their patient all the way down here to get a picture with this equipment because it's so rare. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's really neat looking. It, yeah. it, <laughs> it is space age. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really is. All right, we have OCT. Now, what does, what does that stand for? That stands for Optical Coherence Tomography. Okay, what and is it's that? A, yeah, it's a mouthful, so we usually just say OCT. But basically, it uses infrared light, and it bounces light off into your eye thousands of times a second mm -hmm. in order to be able to uh, get an accurate picture of the back of the eye. So whereas the topographer we were looking at before uh, it was more for the front of the eye, mm -hmm. this is more for the back of the eye, although it can also do front of the eye. But this is important for mapping, for instance, the retina or the optic nerve. Okay. So for instance, if you have macular degeneration and we want to get a look at it to see if it's wet or dry, or if you want to uh, do a map of the nerve of your eye for glaucoma. Uh, then we can do that as well. Glaucoma is when pressure of the eye affects your optic nerve, which is the nerve that lets you see. Mm -hmm. 
and it starts to eat away at the fibers around the nerve and starts to take away your side vision. So this machine will look at those nerve fibers coming out of the nerve and be able to tell us, one, is there any damage from uh, the glaucoma and also looks at macular degeneration to see how that's progressing. So uh, also a, a very advanced piece of equipment and we do this also as part of the preoperative workup for a cataract surgery to determine uh, you know, if you have the best vision uh, potential possible. Okay, all right, very good. And then the next one is called a retinal camera. Right, and that's exactly what it is. It, it's a, a fancy looking camera. You can actually see the camera on top there, it's, which is a normal uh, Nikon camera, but it's attached to this uh, Topcon system and it, you have to have special optics to be able to take a picture inside the eye mm -hmm. because you're looking through a very small hole, which right. is your pupil. So imagine trying to take a photograph through a keyhole. That's what this is like. So you need okay. special optics to be able to do that, to be able to look through this either three millimeter up to maybe eight millimeter hole to take a, a good picture of the back of the eye. And that way we'll be able to monitor and compare uh, your picture of your, for instance, your nerve or your macular degeneration year to year to see if there's any progression. So, so these can, you can keep on file and then always refer back to them and see a progression there. Exactly. Okay. You can even take three dimensional uh, pictures of the nerve. So with special glasses, we can actually, as if we're looking at the nerve in, in, wow. in real life. Yeah, it's really amazing. Yeah, very advanced. And the next one is uh, Lenstar. Is that a brand name or is that exactly what this equipment is? Well, this is a brand name of this equipment called an optical biometer. And what this does is it also uses infrared light and it bounces light back and forth in the eye, kind of like the OCT we had. Mm -hmm. But the purpose of this machine is twofold. One is to measure the axial length or the length of the actual eye. And also it measures the curvature of your eye. And the reason it does that is in preparation for cataract surgery. So whenever we take out a cataract, which is your natural lens, which has gotten cloudy, mm -hmm. we have to replace it with a plastic lens. But how do you know what power lens to put in your eye? Right. And we do that with this machine. We have to make, there's certain calculations we can make with the, uh, uh, the length of the eye and the curvature of the eye. And it also takes various other measurements. Again, a very advanced piece of equipment and it uses the most advanced formulas to be able to calculate that. We have two different formulas. And if it is all consistent, then I'll say, okay, we're ready for cataract surgery. And if not, I like to have them measure again and again until I get two good measurements. Sometimes a person's eye, for instance, is dry. Mm -hmm. and doesn't allow for accurate measurements. Okay. So I'll have them lubricate, come back. I like to measure twice and cut once, as yeah, we say. Yeah, sounds like a Norm Abram of this old house, right? That, that's his motto, too. Right. All right, the last one is the Advanced Diagnostic System. Right, so this is, uh, as you can see, a, a very fancy-looking machine here. Uh, the patient is looking through this, what we call a four-opter, which is where we ask, you know, what, what is better, one or two, right. to determine what mm -hmm. is uh, the measurement for your glasses. But it's electronic, it's totally electronic. We can measure, we can guide it with these little dials. And the interesting thing is we can actually measure your eyes with a different piece of equipment or your glasses and have it electronically through Bluetooth sent to this machine so that wow. there's less transcription error, less error of you know, going from one machine to the other. Mm -hmm. And then we have an advanced uh, monitor where we can actually test your vision and shine lights in your eyes through this special piece of uh, this special video monitor to see how glare affects your vision because oh, wow. your yeah. vision might be good in the dark but if a headlights in your face it might be something different yeah you've often heard uh, about these might see that star pattern or something like that exactly exactly yeah. so we simulate that with this machine too and this is is this basically an updated advanced version of something that's been used before in fact the bluetooth capability and all that Yes, exactly. It's uh, all electronically based. It's, uh, it's much more efficient and much more um, accurate. Yeah, so all this stuff is really, so you can do a better job as uh, in, in your, all your colleagues as a surgeon, get as, as precise as you possibly can the first time. Yes, that's the, that's the goal. That's what we do and that's what we strive for. We, I like to uh, strive for perfection in a way. We can't always achieve perfection, but we like to have as accurate measurements as possible um, and the best diagnostic equipment to better serve our patients. 
Are you seeing with this new equipment sort of uh, maybe every few years a leap in the technology? Uh, does it happen every few years that you've seen or is it much like the, um, what you see in the computer and tech industry where it's every, every six months? It's an exciting time to be in ophthalmology because the technology is always changing. I would say every year something new comes out, uh, but I always try to get the most advanced things in order to be able to uh, stay at the forefront. For instance, some of that G4, the uh, topographer unit, mm -hmm. has an upgrade capability for future technology. So I'm looking ahead towards that. But yes, it's always changing and always getting better. Yeah, well, that's good for everyone. Yes. When you look at the different technology that's out there, uh -huh. do you look at your client base and select the things that you think will fit your client base the best, or is it just overall better technology for everything you do there? Well, uh, in, in ophthalmology, we have to be prepared for all types of eye problems that mm -hmm. come in, all types of uh, eye diseases, for instance. I deal with a wide range of, of ages and a wide range of diseases, so I like to get instruments that are able to meet the needs of everybody. Okay, yeah, very good. Well, again, Dr. Salib, uh, there's his number on the screen, 949-380-EYES or 3937. But if you want to see him in person today, you can go to the Kiwanis Club at their meeting at 1145 in Clubhouse 2. Are you going to talk about some of this today or some of the advanced technologies? I'm going to be talking about the senior eye, which is all the different problems that can affect a, a patient who's in his senior years. Okay. Yeah, we, I know you've talked very much mm -hmm. about that and the advances even in that. Right. Yeah, right. very good. Thank you for coming on. This was really fascinating to see this equipment. Thanks for having and me. And yeah, I can tell you're excited about it, just about the, how much more advanced it is and uh, how it'll benefit your patients. Yes, it's truly an exciting time. Great to be an ophthalmologist nowadays. Yeah, well, thank you very much for sharing those with us. My pleasure. Folks, we'll be uh, right back, and uh, we're going to hear about the budget meetings with Third Mutual. I was having more and more difficulty seeing clearly, especially street signs. You have no idea how many U-turns I could make before I got to my destination if I was in an area that was unfamiliar. So I consulted with Dr. Salib, and uh, he performed cataract surgery on both eyes. As you can see, I'm not wearing glasses, and um, I get to my destinations in a very short time. We are located in the Saddleback Memorial Medical Towers. See well, live well.
Sometimes driving Orange County is the best way to discover what makes us different. A realization that our dynamic present is solidly connected to the past. That Orange County has always been the home of innovators. At South County Lexus, we're a part of it. From giving you a better selection with one-to-one -one customer care that no one can match, South County Lexus really is a different experience, a better way. Because here, the journey makes the destination better. South County Lexus at Mission Hill, Different, just like you.